once again, welcome back to the Amazing Them channel. I am Brother T. Roy. Thank you all for coming out and enjoying videos with me. Today we're going to get into a comedian that I've heard of before, but we've never did it on this channel or on the other channel I'm on, Top Talk TV. So I want to start getting into uh, some of his comedy now. This is DC Benny. And this sketch is, he buys weed for his racist uncle in Brooklyn. This ought to be fun. Let's get into Benny. Let's see what DC Benny got. And uh, I, have a, I have a joke in my act. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm Jewish. My wife is black. We go down south. They're worth an extra 10 points. Um, <laughs> kind of funny. Kind of true. And uh, she, has an, uh, she has an uncle uh, named Willie. Um, who teaches public school, uh, he teaches black history. A lot of bad stuff happened to him in the 60s. You know, so he's got all these, he's one of those dudes that's obsessed with racism, but he says the most racist shit. Um, and he lives around the corner from us, you know, and I'll hang out with him and he just gets subjected to it. You know, like I was gonna go uh, to this Chinese restaurant uh, and I was with him and he pulls me aside, he's like, uh, you don't wanna eat uh, Chinese food, <clears throat> what to do? is the, the chicken, it's not uh, chicken. Uh, 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 <clears throat> they, they get the cats, uh, they keep them downstairs. There's a secret trap door, to keep, that's where they keep the cats at. Now they, they get the cats from the Puerto Ricans. Uh, uh, see, uh, the, the Puerto Ricans, uh, they kidnap the cats, uh, they put them in the back of the car. Uh, that's why the salsa music's so loud to drown out the meowing so you don't hear it. Uh, uh, they, they kidnap the, the cats uh, from the Jewishes uh, when they go to Israel to count their money and control the media. Uh, that's when they break in, grab the cats, read the final call. <clears throat> so we had a party, and we you know we invited our friends, all different shapes, size, colors, and we invited uh, him, which in retrospect was kind of a mistake, um, because <laughs> he showed up and he kept trapping people in these conversations. You know, like you know. There'd be one of my white friends, and he'd, you know, he'd have him on the wall, and he'd be like, you see, you feel that way because you're white. Uh, white is without color. Uh, uh, see, white people came from the ice. Uh, brothers came from the sun. Uh, that's why white people uh, can wear shorts in October and shit like that. Uh, you understand? Uh, read the final call. Uh, <clears throat> have a bean pie. You know. He's got one of my Asian friends in the corner. See, feel that way because your eyes, uh, uh, they're closed. But it's not a genetic thing, it's a denial thing because you look down, you see the little dick, oh no, and then close the eyes and then uh, uh, read the final call, uh, <clears throat> have a bean pie, you know. So, you know, people are coming up to me after the party, like, who is that? I was like, it's my uncle in law, he's just kind of old school, you know. <laughs> Uh, so uh, the next day, he's, he's also very, he's very paranoid and a lot of stuff happened to him too. The next day he calls me up and he's like, uh, uh, I had a nice time at, uh, at the soiree, uh, a lot of bohemian individuals. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to get uh, some reefer. If you could arrange, you know, a dime bag, a nickel bag or something of this nature. So I, I, I got to go on a weed quest for my uncle-in-law and I don't... <laughs> Really know what, I know there's this bodega in the neighborhood that I think is a front because there's no merchandise. There's just like an old ass can of Goya beans in a window and a box of cornflakes still has Bruce Jenner with a javelin on it. You walk inside, there's a picture of Menudo on the wall with the eyes cut out. <laughs> so first I go, I go in, I gotta prove I'm not a cop. I gotta show ID um, and I hook it up and everything and I call him up and uh, I forget he's, he's very paranoid. I'm like, hey man, I got the, uh, and he hangs up the phone. And he calls me back and he's speaking in code. He's like, uh, did, you, uh, did you get the, uh, the contract? I'm like, the what? Uh, the contract. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I got the contract. Uh, how many pages? Uh, oh, I don't know, 50 pages? 50, I told you, a five, 10 page contract. I'm like, a five, 10 page contract's gonna have seeds and stems in it. God damn it, he hangs up the phone. You know, the FBI is gonna move in at any minute. You know. So he calls me back. We live in Brooklyn, we live in Brooklyn. So he calls me back and he's like, uh, meet me at the promenade at midnight. And the promenade overlooks you know, the East River. So I go out there at midnight and he's out there, but he's in disguise. He's got a trench coat hat on and a, and a hat, a fedora. He looks like McGruff taking a bite out of crime, you know? 
He's making a fake phone call at this booth. I walk over and something's wrong because he starts gesticulating. A Black Hawk down, VC in the bush, a principal in the office, cracker on the cheese, flippity flop, uh, abort mission, mutiny on the bounty. You know, like, uh, trying to decipher all this shit. And then he's like, oh, meet me in the diner in 10 minutes. I said, 10 minutes, I wait, I go in the diner. He's there, he's sitting at a, uh, at a booth. The diner's basically empty. He's sitting at a booth and I walk over and he puts on this whole, uh, you know, production of how he doesn't know me. Uh, Coffee for this gentleman I've never seen before. <clears throat> uh, rest your weary feet, stranger. What can I do? And he slides this napkin over, and I look, and there's something written on the napkin. And I look, and it says 5 0 with the cash register. And I look, and there's a 70 year old security guard buying a cup of coffee. And I'm like, eh, that guy's not a cop. God damn it. He eats the napkin. Right? <laughs> and he's yelling at me, motherfucker, you ruined the contract. I'm like, I quit. I don't want to work for this company anymore. Here, take your POT. I leave, the next day, there's a message on the answering machine. Uh, it's me. Uh, I read the contract last night, <clears throat> every page, and I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> so that was my uncle's story, everybody. Um... Great job, DC, great job. Yeah, it's a trip, like, when you have, like, old school people in your family, and they just be, like, spouting out some stuff. I got a habit sometimes too, because um, I like read about all kinds of different stuff. Like sometimes I, we'll be like hanging on the roof of my building, and in my building there's like all kinds of people in this building. White, black, Filipino, uh, Ukrainian, all types of people, and, and all types of persuasions too. Sometimes we'll be up on the roof kind of chilling. I like to go up there with my telescope and look at stars and stuff, have a beer, burn one, whatever. And sometimes they'll, there'll be discussions going on, and they'll call me over to get into the discussion. Man, I'll be dropping so much stuff on them. Those, Because uh, a lot of those guys in the building here, and some ladies too that come up there, they're a lot younger than me. And a lot of times they think that I'm their age, but I'm like 50 plus years old. And I kind of look younger than most 50 people, I guess except for this grain, but I'll be going up there dropping bombs on these youngsters' heads. They like in their 30s, maybe the oldest is like maybe 35 or something like that, and I just be dropping history bombs on their head about stuff, or science bombs, or like psychological stuff, and I bet sometimes when I go up there, they're wondering what is this dude going to say next. So as far as DC Benny's uncle be like saying the most... I don't, I don't say a lot of uh, racial, racial type stuff sometimes unless someone asks me a question, I'm going to give you the answer. And if my answer is a little scary, just like um, Pulp Fiction when Jewel said, don't ask scary questions, you won't get scary answers. So I, I usually, you know, just PC with my answers, but I, I do be direct. And I think Benny's uncle is a little different than that. He just spouts his racial stuff that happened to him back in the day and it just uh, comes up right now so yeah that's weird and with him being the whole paranoid stuff and talking and cold and all that I'm like dude meet me halfway on the block I'll just drop it on some stairs you pick it up and go on about your business that way we ain't gotta do no phone call things or none of that but um, I like um, DC's comedy I'm going to check out more of his work. I hope you guys enjoy this comedy. Come back and see me again on Amazing M Channel, and I'll see you next time. Take care. You were put here to protect.